What you're looking at is the American dream. Ali Safi left Iran nearly 40 years ago to start a life in the United States. It's the most interesting country because it allows you to do what you want to do. What he wanted to do was open a restaurant. So in 1981, he did that, acquiring a Subway franchise in Greenville, South Carolina. This is the very first Subway that we opened in Greenville 30 years ago. Today, he has more than 400 stores. Foreign restaurants employ 4,000 people, nearly 4,000 people. The payroll for those 4,000 people is an estimated $40 million, and the taxes they pay on that money are somewhere around $6 million. Then there's a significant amount of non-direct employees, the, the food distributor, the truck drivers, the, the packers, all these people that we buy products from and then deliver to us. See, that's the other part of the American dream, the dream that one man's success can help others realize their dreams too. This store is a lot more to me than just my job, you know? It's kind of part of my life. Meet LaKim Campbell. She joined Subway a couple of years ago as an employee earning the minimum wage. Three months after starting, um, I became pregnant and I was out three weeks and I came back and I started right back up where I left off. Campbell worked her way up to a manager's job. And with management came benefits like paid vacations, sick days, and health care. It was really great for me, you know, just because to be able to get insurance, to be able to go to the doctor whenever I need to, and not whenever I can afford to. And not just for Campbell, but health benefits for her newborn child and a roof over both of their heads. Now multiply that by 4,000, and that's the type of impact this one man has. But not every shop Ali Safi opens is a financial success. If he was willing to take a chance on a restaurant that perhaps profits were gonna take a second place to people. So That's Crystal Hardesty, the regional marketing director for Goodwill Industries. It's a nonprofit organization that trains people for low-paying, entry-level jobs. <laughs> Safey helped Goodwill open a Subway restaurant in the store to prepare people for jobs in food service. A lot of us see a job as something simple, you know, um, perhaps we take it for granted, but for a lot of people that really is something that they perhaps thought was unattainable and when they have that, it really changes their whole outlook on life. They train people less fortunate than the rest of us. They train them, the people that you and I would typically not hire, with a checkered pass or maybe a, a abused, battered women. This is the entity that gives you a hand up, not a handout. During its 2012 fiscal year, the Greenville Goodwill helped find jobs for nearly 7,300 people, people who might otherwise have depended on taxpayer-funded assistance programs. Instead, they collectively earned more than $75 million, all because of help from one man. The goal is to continue to help people. Uh, the more you help people, the more successful you feel. Who came to the United States chasing his own dream. Arash Arabasadi for VOA News. Drop it.